Okay, uh, let us consider our question number two that we are given. Uh, in this case, also our algebraic. Guys, this part of our algebraic expressions, we have a lot of questions now. So I just hope where you are now, you are somehow understanding all these. So you can just try, attempt these questions, then you play through the video to see if you have attempted these questions correctly. That is how you can test if truly you are now understanding these algebraic expressions. So that is, we're going to have 15 marks after this. Okay, question two, we are given 2.1. If X is equal to a minus two, we are given the value of X to consider X is minus two and Y is equal to what? Y is equal to minus three. Find the value of this expression that you are given. That is the question that we have. So this is a substitution that you're supposed to make. Remember, we had these typical questions, guys, where we apply our substitution method. So that was the same consideration that we are given in this case, all right? So this is uh, 2.1. So we're just gonna substitute 2.1. We are given uh, minus two into the bracket of X minus one minus two Y. So we substitute the X that we are given. So this is minus two into the bracket where there is this X, you substitute the minus two. So that's minus two minus one. Minus two Y, that is the plus, in place of this Y, you're gonna substitute minus three. Remember, minus two Y means minus two times Y. So that is a bracket. You bless the value of Y, which is what? Minus three. Just like that. So you can simplify this part, guys. Uh, that is, we are going to have a minus three in this case here. So meaning to say, if you multiply minus two to a minus three, that will be a positive six, or just use your calculator as it is like this. It will give you a positive six, okay? Then we also consider a negative to a negative. That's a positive. You're, you're multiplying there. Remember, you've got a bracket. So two times three, that will be six. So you can add uh, six plus a six. That is going to give us a 12 in this case. So this was a straight substitution in place of X. You substitute the value of X that you're given in place of Y. You do the same thing. You substitute the value that you are given there. All right. Let us consider another question, which is on question 2.2. Let's see how we're supposed to attempt this one. Simplify on 2.21, we are given to simplify this. So then we can consider the part of the brackets, the 15A plus 24B minus 13C minus the bracket of 12A minus 18B plus 11C. Remember I talked about the issue of brackets. If the number is not given, it means there is a one. So there is a one, there is a negative one. So you can distribute by this one throughout. One times 15, that will be 15A. One times 24, that is going to be 24B1 times negative 13C. That's negative 13C. You multiply by negative 1, negative 1 times a positive 12. That's a negative 12A. A negative to a negative. That's a positive. So that will be positive 18B. A negative to a positive. That's a negative, which will be 11C. And from there, we can consider our like terms, meaning to say we must consider these terms with A, the terms with B, that is the like terms, the part of A on this case. So you've got 15 and the 12, all right? You consider the part of uh, B, we've got a B there, there's a 24B to be considered. There is also uh, an 18B to be considered. There is C there, minus 18C to be considered with the minus 11C. These are the like terms, you can separate these. So let's start with the part of A, 15 minus 12. That is the part where we have got A. So 15 minus 12, that is three. So this will be uh, 3A. You add the part of B. This is 24B plus 18B. So you're simply adding 24 plus 18, which is 42. So this was going to be uh, 42B in this case. All right, let's move on to the part of C. We have got the part of C here and also the part of C. 
So this is minus 13 minus 11. So you're simply uh, subtracting uh, these two on your calculator that is minus uh, 24. So there we are going to obtain uh, minus 24C, just like that. So the like terms, consider the part of A on its own, consider the part of B on its own, consider the part of C on its own. Those are the like terms that you are supposed to add or subtract depending with uh, what you are given there. Is it to add or is it to subtract? Remember separation. If you're given a division like this, you can simply separate the terms. That is 6x to the exponent of 3 separated to 3x. We are now used to this one, guys. The minus 15x there, you separate this to 3x also. All right, so let's separate 3 into 6 or 6 divided by 3. That's a 2. So you're going to have 2. Remember the x is x here into these x, which are 3. So we are going to have x squared or simply use the laws of exponents, x to the exponent of 3 divided by x. We're simply going to subtract the exponents, 3 minus 1, which is x squared. So that's 2, x squared, minus the 3 into 15, or 15 divided by 3, which is a 5. So that's going to be 5. The x and the x was going to cancel. So this was going to be uh, 2x squared minus 5, just like that. Then if you consider this question, you'll be wondering, why are we having 6 marks on this question? where we are given again to simplify 3x squared into the bracket of x plus 2 plus 2x into the bracket of x squared plus 3x. There, you must consider also the laws of exponents. Remember the laws of exponents. It's very true that you are going to distribute bracket the first part with 3x squared, the second part with the 2x. It's very, very true. But as you are to distribute these brackets, you must consider that they are exponents where the bases are the same and you're multiplying. You must consider adding the exponents. X to the exponent of 3 times X to the exponent of 4. You're multiplying the bases which are the same. So you add the exponents 3 and a 4 together, which is X to the exponent of a 7. So this is what you're going to do throughout. So let's distribute the first part. 3x squared multiplies this x. So there's a 1 there. So you're going to add 2 plus 1, which is 3. So that's 3x to the exponent of 2 plus 1, which is a 3. All right, the 3x squared multiplies the 2. So that's 3 times 2, which is 6x squared. There's nothing to be added. Just multiply the numbers there direct. So you move on to the next term. You consider also the same uh, situation that you are given. The 2x there multiplies this x squared. So you have to consider as you're multiplying the exponents, that is a 1 there. So this is going to be 2x to the exponent of 1 plus a 2, which is a 3. Plus, then we consider this term and this term, a plus to a plus. That is going to be a plus, all right? Already we have a, already we have got a plus there. So two times three, that is six x to the exponent of what? There is a one and a one. So one plus one, that is a two. You are multiplying the bases, which are the same. You add the exponent, so you're going to get a two. From there, collect the like terms, considering uh, that we have got the like terms. If we do not have the like terms, do not force these like terms to be there if they are not there. But in this case, we have got the like terms. Uh, we can consider the part of uh, x to the exponent of 3 here and also the part of x to the exponent of 3 on this part. Uh, the part of x squared here to the part of x squared also on this part. So let's see what are we going to have at the end. So that will be... 3 plus a 2, which is 5. So that's 5x cubed. Then we consider the part of x squared, uh, the 6 and the 6. So that will be 12x squared. So that's it. These two terms cannot be added because we do not have uh, the same exponents. Remember, addition is supposed to be when these are of the same exponents, we can consider them to be like terms, those are what you refer to as what? As like terms. But in this case, these two cannot 
be added because of uh, the difference that we have in terms of what? In terms of the exponents that we are given in terms of the power that we are given. That is the one that makes everything not to, to work. The power there. This power is very, very important. Makes everything. Once you have that, means you can't separate that. All right. So that was our question 2.23 uh, for six marks. You just look for six marks. Just consider revising as much questions as you can. Make sure that you distribute properly, applying your laws of exponents. After that, collect the like terms. That is by considering the same variable and the same power. Once you have that, you can add or subtract whatever that you are given. And you must add or subtract the coefficients 3 to the 2, which is a 5, the 6 to the 6, the coefficients, which is a 12, just like that. So these are the typical exam questions that you must expect in the final. From Maison African Motives, till we meet again.